And when you find out your man just cheated on you, you shouldn't act on emotion. You need to act with logic. First of all, the next door podcast. Welcome to the next door podcast. I am bestie next door and I'm like your bestie next door. If you like your tea to be sweet, then this place is not for you because we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. Sweet enough that it goes down, bitter enough to wake us up. You guys know how we start this. I got my ice bucket now. We know we upgrading because I be needing more ice. Red Bull and American Honey. For those who like my SMRs, let's get into it. American Honey Wild Turkey, I'm still waiting for you to sponsor me. Nothing like a fresh bottle. Pour it up, pour it up. First sip. Let's clap because we are on episode nine. So on this episode, we're going to talk about how to deal with cheating. Now, we all know that men cheat, right? And I'm not going to sit there and say all men cheat, but it's very common for men to cheat. And there are different levels of cheating, right? Because I always talk about if a man is cheating on you, guilt, money, this and that, but there are different levels of cheating. There's cheating one where it's just harmless, like maybe flirtatious with just words. There's cheating number two, which is with feelings. And there's cheating number three, which is the actual act of physically pleasing someone. Now, first of all, when you find out your man is cheating on you, number one, it depends on the level of cheating, right? Before you decide to leave your man for cheating, think about this. You leave him, you go to the next one, same thing's going to happen again. It all depends on what you consider cheating, but trust me, he will step on you. So you have to pick your baggage. There's no man that's perfect, but you have to pick your baggage. One form of cheating that should be an ultimate deal breaker is feelings. If a man is cheating on you emotionally, deal breaker. Because you know what? Men can indulge in physical acts and not be emotionally invested but the moment his feelings are invested is when he's putting your relationship at jeopardy. That is a deal breaker automatic. Another deal breaker for cheating, you guys are together and he starts a whole family. That is an automatic deal breaker for cheating. But if he has a one night stand with a woman or he's texting someone, hands up, cash out. Yeah, that guilt money, very sweet, very sweet. You see, when you are a high value woman and you understand what it is to be a woman, there's certain things that you know that you can't just let go of. A lot of women say, oh, leave him, leave him. He's embarrassing. But it's like, let's be honest, dealing with the male species, you're going to have some type of embarrassment. Some type of embarrassment is going to come in a relationship. However, you have to weigh out the pros and the cons and pick your baggage according to your size. Pick your baggage according to your size. What can you tolerate and what can you not tolerate? There's certain things as a woman that you have to understand that, you know what? This guy treats me really good. He provides for me. He does everything that I need. Do I want to leave him because of this? Most women act on emotion. And when you find out your man just cheated on you, you shouldn't act on emotion. You need to act with logic. First of all, which level of cheating was it? You have to understand the way you handle things dictate your value as a woman. You have to be emotionally intelligent when you're dealing with a man that cheated on you. A lot of women like to cry and say, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm not leaving with my pockets empty. I'm not leaving with my pockets empty. If he just cheated, the guilt money is sweet. Hands up, cash out. Why would you, the main chick, Allow the side tick to enjoy because you don't know how to control your emotions and collect from him. You're going to be causing drama and you're going to be emotionally unstable, stressed out, not collecting your piece of the cake while she's eating the whole cake. You see, when you look at DDG's girlfriend, Haley, and the Ruby Rose situation, the way Haley handled the situation with DDG is what you call emotional intelligence. She didn't give her the benefit of the doubt to see her sweat because what he texts you at three in the morning. The fact that he even texts you at three in the morning, why are you feeling so good about that? And you think you exposing him was going to make me sweat? Sweetie, she adjusted her crown, held her man tight. And said, please, the devil's working hard, but God is working harder. I'm not going to entertain side piece. Because you 
He's, he wrote you at 3 a.m. He's just trying to get crumbs from you. I'm the main cake. He doesn't want to lose me. What Ruby Rose did was not a really good play for her. He wrote you at 3 a.m., sweetie. At 3 a.m. He didn't write you during the day and say, hey, what's up? What's your cash app? Let me send you 10 bands. Let me send you 20 bands. I want to see you. That's a different level. He just wrote you and said, what you doing? And you answered. Easy access. You shouldn't give a man too much easy access to you, especially for free. When you are mysterious, your value increases. But when you are always available for him, whenever he calls or texts you, your value decreases. You have to leave room for some exclusivity. I know that I'm bouncing around from different topic to topic, but the main thing is how do you handle when you find out your partner cheated on you? Hands up, cash out. That guilt money is really sweet. Be emotionally intelligent. That's what it is to be a high value woman. You think with logic. This is why I tell you ladies, listen to the high value woman audio book or take the high value woman full course and transform yourself to become that emotionally intelligent woman that think with logic. Because when you're dealing with a man that cheated on you, you have to move with logic. You can't move off emotions because the moment you move off of emotions, you're going to lose. Because now you're going to look crazy because now the side chick is going to be laughing because she ruffled your feathers. You never want to have the side chick laughing. You tell the side chick, thank you. I hope you enjoyed your crumbs because now I'm going to collect that fat guilt money 10 times more than you've ever received. Thank you. I needed that bag because nothing is sweet than guilt money. When a man is guilty, nothing is sweeter. This is chess, not checkers. Most women would say, leave, 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 are single, and they're dealing with broke men. If a man cheated on you and he's broke, that's disrespectful. How do you have the time? Shouldn't you be focused on getting you money instead of chasing girls? That's disrespectful. If your partner made a mistake, you don't need to leave at the littlest mistake that he made. That's why relationships don't last these days because everybody's ready to leave at the smallest mistake. Nobody's perfect. You're not going to find someone that's 100%. But if that 80 is worth it, sweetie, look, I'm staying because ain't nothing outside again. So I'm going to tell you the truth. When you get to your man and he does something wrong, he cheats on you, it, it hurts. It hurts when a man cheats on you. It hurts because you feel like I'm doing everything right. But sometimes you have to look at it and say, you know what? A man's going to be a man depending on the level of cheating. There's different levels of cheating. But if it's the harmless ones, the ones that you know that, okay, well, he was out with his boys and he got drunk and he just happenedly to have had one night stand with this girl, that's something you get over with because he doesn't even remember her name. But if it's a situation where he's recurringly having activities with this one particular girl, that means he's emotionally invested. And at that point, you can't stay there. You can't stay with a man that's emotionally invested and continuously indulging in activities with that particular girl. There's no amount of money that you can even take for that type of crap, honestly. But if it's a one night stand and you know, okay, it's a one night stand and you know, all right, well, he just, it's something that, okay, it's not a big deal, then yes, absolutely. Guilt money, hello. Hands up, cash out. If you got cheating money, then you got guilt money. And of course, you guys know me, I like to bounce from topic to topic and don't take relationship advice from a single friend that has been single for long. She will never understand where you're coming from and she's going to want you to be as single as her. Most women that tell other women to leave their good man for one mistake are usually single and have been single for a long time and misery loves company. Work it out. Not every single argument or every single situation that happens in your relationship, the public needs to know about. Your friends or family needs to know about. Because the more people you tell about the issues you're having in your relationship, the more it's going to wound your relationship more than ever. Your relationship is not you, your man, your friends, your family. Keep some things private. Your man is going to make mistakes. But how are you going to handle it as a woman? How you handle it is what dictates how strong your relationship is. You shouldn't allow people to disrespect your man. And you shouldn't be disrespecting your man in public. Have his back. It's funny because a lot of women will say, cheat back, cheat back, cheat back. But why would you want to downgrade and decrease your value to prove to another man your value? Think about it. As a woman, if your man cheated on you, do not cheat back. It will decrease your value faster than anything. The best thing to do is collect that guilt money. 
And if you want to leave, leave with your pockets full and your dignity and your value high. But the moment you downgrade yourself to go cheat because he cheated on you to prove a point that you are of value is the moment you are a low value woman. Because a high value woman is not going to do indulge in those type of behaviors. A high value woman understands that, okay, this is chess, not checkers. You did this. All right. I'm going to use your mistake to my advantage because you're guilty. And because you're guilty, you're going to do and give me whatever I want. I'm not going to decrease my value just to prove to you that I am a value. That's not high value woman behavior. Don't indulge in these low value, low vibration women that tell you to cheat back. Now, if you are in a situation where your man is having another relationship with another woman, instead of crying, plan yourself. While he's busy doing what he's doing, having fun in his second relationship, allowing you to be miserable, put on your jersey. You're playing chess, not checkers. You collect as much as you can. You milk the cow dry. And while you're milking the cow dry, you are working on yourself, becoming the best version of yourself by listening to the High Value Woman audiobook and taking the course. So the moment you leave, you're leaving like that girl with your pockets on full. You're playing chess, not checkers. When you want to leave your man, you don't just leave your man off of emotions. You have to be logical. You have to think about, you have to plan it out. This is what I'm going to do in this amount of time. Some women can't leave as easy because they have ties. You don't want to leave a man for cheating and fall flat on your face. No, sweetie. Strategize. You are playing chess, not checkers. How much can you collect? Milk the cow dry. Make sure you're leaving with your pockets full. You can't leave with your pockets empty. Some Some women like to have this unnecessary pride. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, and fall flat on their face with a broken heart and empty pockets. Don't be that girl. If you're going to leave your man, leave with your pockets full. Why would you want to stress yourself to have to start over? No, you're not going to leave him and then start over because you want to prove a point that you can do it yourself. Absolutely not. Strategize. Be smart. Don't be dumb. Be smart. If she's enjoying, let her have him if you want her to. And collect as much as you can and go. But again, not every situation you need to leave for. Remember, it depends on the level of what the man has done. Because you'll leave a guy for something so small and then and the next guy will do worse. When it comes to these men, there's no man that's perfect. So pick your baggage according to your size. Let me just tap back into the Haley and DDG situation. I love how Haley handled the situation. She handled it with so much class. That's how you want to be. As a woman, you never want the public to see you sweat over a mistake your man made. You need to be unbothered because you are the queen and the queen is untouchable and the queen can't be bothered by peasants. The side chicks that's coming for his money are peasants. They're never going to get as much money as you're going to get from your man. Never. Trust me, if that girl is getting 1000 or $2,000, you are getting 10 20 30 40 50 Trust me. A side chick can never get as much money from a man than the main chick. So you should never let a side chick see you sweat when she wants to expose him. You laugh at her. You say, huh, that's cute. I hope you enjoyed your little two seconds. Because now, thank you. I'm going to recoup ten times more than you've ever received from him. You, you thought I was going to leave him because of you? You just added another body to your body count. The next guy's coming for you. Mine's is here to stay. You guys know I bounce around from topic to topic. I'm going to make a part two of this episode, and I'm going to tell you about the time where I dated an American guy, why I would never date a broke American guy again. I just wanted to talk about this cheating thing because I feel like a lot of girls go through this in relationships, and when they ask their friends for advice on how they should handle it, friends don't really give them that really concrete good advice. And before you decide to leave your man because he cheated on you, you need to weigh out the pros and the cons. How good is he to you? And if he just made this one mistake, then you shouldn't leave. Just work it out. Because at the end of the day, when you plan to spend the rest of your life with someone, they're going to make so much mistakes. So even if you decide to leave this man, then next guy is probably going to do 10 times worse if not the same this is your assignment if if you're thinking about leaving your man for cheating i want you to do this before you decide to leave make a list the good and the bad if the bad outweigh the good leave if the good outweigh the bad stay it's that simple don't listen to any of your friends because they are not the ones wearing your shoes you know your man the best 
a list of the good and the bad. I want you to write this list of good and bad and do it with logic. Don't do it from an emotional standpoint. Do it with the utmost logic. Logically, how good is he? How bad is he? That's how you make your decision. Like, comment, subscribe, and head over to my next episode.